Hello guys! How are you? Now we're going to discuss the topic about center. But before that, let's define the difference between the center of gravity and the center. Okay guys, so we're, we're now going to discuss the topic about the centroid, chapter 7 of your book. So this is all about the centroids and the center of gravity. But before that, let's know the difference between the center of gravity and the center. Okay, so kung bubuksan yung inyong PowerPoint, uh, on the second slide, we define natin what is the center of gravity. So introduction and definition. So the center of gravity is the point where the total weight of the body acts while the centroid is the geometric center of the object. Okay, so the main focus of this chapter is about centroid lang. Okay, so ang concept niyan, yung center of gravity, uh, inire-relate kasi natin dito yung weight mo. So for example na lang, meron ka kung mawari na irregular plate. So those, though ito ay uh, hindi naman siya irregular, but ang concept kasi niya, kung saan ba mababalansi yung iyong plate. So, obviously, since this is a rectangular section, so, sa gitna siya, magpapatay, ano? Ayan. Wow naman! Wow! Okay, so, parang ganun yung wow. concept center of gravity. While the centroid is the geometric center. So, almost, pareho lang din naman in the sense na kapag, uh, yun nga, rectangular section yung kinakonsider mo. So, obviously, the centroid of that is yung gitna natin, ano? So, considering this is the height, H, and this is the B. So, kapag yung horizontal, ang centroid niya is nandito sa gitna, or yung B over 2. And kapag yung height naman, yung pinag-usapan, o yung H. So, that will be H over 2. So, dito sa gitna nito. Ano? Okay, guys. So, on your book, uh, kung i-turn nyo siya sa page 178, pakita ko lang, so, ito is yung ating Engineer Mechanics by Ferdinand Alsinger, 2nd Division. So, this is page 178. Uh, nandiyan yung mga list ng uh, common geometric shapes. So, dito, given yung area niya, the same time yung kanyang x-bar, or yung center niya coming from the x-axis, and the uh, y-bar. This is the one coming from the y-axis. So, the common geometric shape, binigay naman siya. And, uh, Please take note na lang nito. So, ito yung sinasabi ko o yung tinuro ko before doon sa nag-ESRB sa akin. Hindi totoo yan. Yung uh, general formula for a nth degree curve. So, under dito sa librong to, this is the area under Spangle. Knowing that this is nth degree. So, ito na yung mga general formula niya. So, kahit anong uh, degree ng curve yung ibigay sa'yo. So, as long as alam mo tong equation niya. So, wala magiging problema. Ano? So guys, paki-memorize na lang, paki-kabisado ako nito. But ipapakita ko sa inyo, uh, pwede mo naman siyang i-derive kung sa aling mo alimutan. Pero huwag niyo nang kalimutan kasi mas mapapahirap lang ano. Pero ipakita natin sa isang example. Ano? So dito ipapakita ko kung paano natin ma-derive yung uh, centroid and triangle using integration. Okay, so this is a PowerPoint eh, if you're going to turn the slide on the second slide so doon uh, shown a triangle with a height h and a base b so locate the centroid of the triangular area with respect to the base b okay so ang gagawin mo dito uh, the first thing to do is uh, gawa ka ng strip so, since ang pinapahanap sa atin is yung uh, centroid with respect to the base B, o ito. So, ang gagawin natin, gagawa tayo dito ng strip. Ayan. So, ito, gagawin ko siya uh, in terms of X. And coming from the origin, so this one will be distance Y. So, if this is Y, and this is H. Therefore, the value of this will be what? So that will be H minus Y. Okay, so ang height ng strip na to, 
So, if this is x, therefore, the height of the, the strip is dy. Okay? So, ang sabi ni integral, area multiplied by y bar, so, ito yung hinahanap natin, yung centroid niya coming from the, with respect to the base, is equals to the integral of y multiplied by dA. Kung saan yung dA mo, that is the area of your strip. So, coming from the figure, so, ang dA mo, so, that is just equals to x multiplied by dy. So, in short, the equation will now become, so, the integral of xy dy. So, ang limits niya, so, ito yung ating limit, so, coming from 0 up to the distance na h, yung height niya. So, 0 to h. Okay, so, kung mapapansin niyo meron tayong variable dito na x. So, yung x na yan, we need to relate that in terms of h or y. So, paano ba natin siya magagawa? Tama. Oh so, by God! using similar triangle yeah! principle or by ratio and proportion, may relate natin yung x in terms of h and y. So, paano gagawin? So, first, let's consider this big triangle. Ano? So, by uh, ratio and proportion, by R and P, so that will be H over B is equals to tama, so that is H minus Y over X. So when you solve for X, the equation will be just equals to what? That will be equals to B multiplied by H minus Y. So ito, itaas mo lang doon, and then ito, ibaba mo. So over H. So now, balik tayo dito. So yung AY mo, A times Y bar will be equals to hindi lawa yan. Tapos, hindi sa kanta. So, wala ako ah. So that will be integral of 0 to H multiplied by X. So substitute mo nga lang itong value na to. So that will be h minus y all over h and then multiply by h times dy multiply by y times dy ano? balik tayo so knowing that the area of the triangle ito so that is just equals to what? considering this triangle yung triangle natin kanina so, di ba yung area ng triangle that is equals lang sa one half of the base, itong D, multiply by the height. So, substitute natin dito. So, one half BY, ah, sorry, BH, multiply by the Y bar. Is equal to the integral of 0 to H, multiply by B times H minus Y times Y DY over H. Okay, so ang gawin natin, cancel na lang natin muna yung mga common terms niya. So ito, cancel natin. And then ito, since ito ay constant, okay lang ba i-transpose ko dito sa abila? Or yan ay maging 1 half h squared y bar. It's equal to the integral of 0 to h. And then now, i-distribute natin itong y dy dito sa h minus y. So that will be so, tinaas na nga natin yun. So, hy and then minus y squared plus dy. Okay. So, taas mo lang to dito. So, the equation will now become 1 half of h squared y bar is equals to So, integral natin to na so, integral of h, y with respect to dy. So, ano mangyayari sa kanya? So, diba, ito ay magiging h multiplied by y squared so, over 2. And then, minus, so, integral ng y squared dy, so, that will be equals to what? So, y, so, 2, madadagdagan ng isa, so, that is y cube over the exponent. 
So ito, with the limits of 0 to h. So di ba mangyayari, uh, ito, isasubstitute mo doon sa value, itong value ng h, isasubstitute mo doon sa y, and then, yung lower limit, ima-minus mo yung sagot niya, tapos sasubstitute mo lang din dito. So, okay, so unahin natin yung h. So h, so mangyayari, mapapalitan nga lang to ng, itong y, mapapalitan ng h, so that would be h cube over 2, tama? Minus y cube over 3. No, sorry, ito, magiging h din. Papatan mo kasi itong y ng h. Ano? So, that would be equals so, and then minus the lower limit. So, yung mga value dito ng uh, y, papatan mo ng 0. So, h, so that will be, wala, 0 lang din ah. Ayan. So, 1 half minus 1 third. Wala, nakalimutan ng pumindot ng balik. Kinahit ko lang para sure. So that will be h cube over 6. Ito, ayan. h squared y bar. So cancel mo na ito. Ito, minus 2. So may matitirang isa. And then ito, tataas. Or the y bar will just be equals to h over 3. Ayan, which is correct naman na. Ayan. So, ito daw y bar natin. That is just equals to one third ng total height niya. So, which is correct naman. So, di ba kung ito yung h mo, yung centroid niya coming from the base, which is this one. So, di ba ito ay just equals ng sa one third ng height. Kung saan yung kabila, kung maximum ang pagbabasihan mo, di ba, since mas malaki ito, compare dito. So, di ba yun yung magiging 1 third? So, 1 third to, ito, magiging 2 third ng h. Kung dito ka magre-reference sa kabilang point. Okay, so that is how you derive the formula for centroid of any geometric figure. So, may bigay sa yung rectangle, walang problema at madi-derive. But, kung ako nga sa inyo, uh, mas maganda, sa ulayin nyo na lang yung formula. Total, ilan lang naman yan. Ano? Okay, so let's proceed with the next problem.